In this tutorial video, I am going to show you how to use the testimonials blocks from Cadence to add testimonials to your website. So as you can see on my screen right here, I have some simple testimonials that I have added to the page and I am going to be showing you how to use that block to recreate this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come into our page and I'm going to be working on the same page that I created these other testimonials. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this button here to add a block. We can click up here. Alternatively, we can always just put in forward slash and then find testimonials. So it's the cadence testimonials blocks block that we are going to be using. So we're going to click on testimonials. Once we click on testimonials, it's giving us this option to choose an initial style. So there are four different styles that you can choose from and two different layouts. So the first thing we're going to choose is a style and I really like this style. So I'm going to go with this style for this specific testimonial um, slider that I'm going to create or carousel. So the next option we have um, on the right hand side is our testimonial settings. So the first is layout. So you can either have a grid of testimonials or you can have a carousel. So a carousel means you've got more than one and it kind of slides through those. So again, if you don't like this um, testimonial style that you've chosen, you can always change it here on the right hand side. So you just simply click on that and that's going to change your testimonial style. So then the next option is how many testimonial items you specifically want um, on this. So at the moment it's set to one, that is standard. You can of course either use the slider or change the numbers here. So I'm going to change it to three. And as you can see, when I change it to three, then these arrows are added and also these little toggle um, circles. Now I want to show you going back to layout what grid looks like. So if I click on grid, um, then it looks like this and it's just basically three one below each other. If you wanted to and you've got a grid, but you'd rather have three in a row, you can just change that to three and then that's going to put them all in a row. OK, you've also got an option here to use linked. Um, otherwise, we can do individual um, and this is a depending on your screen size, how many you want in a row. So if, for example, on a tablet, I would only like two or three in a row, I can change that down below. But let's keep it to linked. And I'm going to go back and change it to carousel because that's what I would like to work with. OK, so column wise, I'm going to change it to one because I want it to kind of be a slider. Um, another thing with the grid um, to change spacing between your testimonials, you can use a slider and just change that column gap up and down. OK, so that's your layout. And now we can look at our carousel settings. If you have it on grid, then your carousel settings go away. Um, but I have it on carousel, so I can just click on that drop down. So the first option is if we want the carousel to auto play, we can toggle that. And then as soon as someone lands on the website, it will just start playing. We can change the speed of it and we can change the transition speed as well. I don't want it to auto play, um, but I can do the transition speed. So that's, you know, how fast it transitions between each um, uh, testimonial. Then it says how many slides to scroll. So if, for example, I have two columns, um, I can slide through that as many, you know, one or all, etc. Then we've got our arrow style. So this is at the moment white on dark. We can do black on light. We can do outline black. We can do outline white and we can do none. OK, I'm going to do black on light. So I have the arrows so people can click through as they wish. Then you've got your dot style. So you've got a light dot, you've got outline dot, you've got outline light and you have none. I'm going to do outline dark. And there we still have our dots at the bottom. So those are your carousel settings. The next are your container settings. So your container settings is where the testimonial is. So I'll click on that drop down. You can add a border if you want. You can change the border radius. So if I do that, 
that then adds a border. I don't want a border, but if we have a border, we can then change the radius of that border. We can then change the container background. So again, clicking on this, you can choose from your global palette or you can choose from the color picker or add in a hex code. So I'm going to choose um, this lighter color there. We can also change the container border. I don't want there to be any of that. We can change container padding. So the padding is within the box. So let me show you how that works can see that padding. We can also unlink it and change top by itself, right by itself, bottom and left by itself. And again, with all of the cadence blocks, then you have this option to change what it looks like on a desktop, a tablet and a mobile device. So you simply toggle that and change the settings. Okay, the next is your container maximum width. So that at the moment it's set to 500 pixels. So the width is from here to here. As you go, you can see it gets bigger. So I'm going to make mine bigger. And then you also have your minimum height. So if you want them all to be the same height, you can simply do that. And that's really great, especially in terms of like, say for example, these ones, they are, the length of them um, is it just a little bit different. So I might want to set them to be the same height so that the images and the names are all on the same level. You can also inner um, align your content so you can center that. Um, and let's just show you how it works here. So your container settings, minimum height, let's just make this. So those are those container settings and then we can do that. So that's kind of the same, um, just putting them, aligning them center. So your next options are your icon settings. So if you want, you can show a top icon. So you click on that um, and that's quite nice. It adds in a little icon at the top there. Let's just do it here. So your icon settings, show top icon, and then you can choose whichever icon you want. Again, there's such a array, array of icons to choose from in Cadence. You just click to the, the right and find the icon you want. And then that adds in the icon. And with your icon, you've got all your settings in terms of sizing, line width, um, your color, your border width, your border radius, your icon background, your icon border color, padding and margins. Then your next option is your title settings. Okay, so before we go on to your title settings, your rating settings, etc., I'm going to show you how to now add the content to your testimonials. So this is just dummy content. If I click update um, and publish this website, I mean this page, and I refresh this page, you'll see it just looks like this because I haven't put any content in yet. So I'm going to put in some content. So you have a heading, you have some paragraph text, you've got the name of the person um, and the position, or you can put a URL or something like that. So you don't necessarily have to put any one of these. Um, if you put content in there, it will show on the front end. So I am looking at some text. So let's just copy this text from here and copy this text from here and you just paste it in there, okay? And now when I click update, I refresh my page, you'll see that the content has now been added in there. And if I want an image, I just click on this image button here, choose the image I want, select it, and then it automatically gets put in there. And then I can pop in the name here and the position. Okay, so now I've done it for the first one. Um, I just need to do it for the second one. So I click on this button here, goes to the next one. I can put whatever I need in there and I can do the same for this one. Okay, so let's look at now your title settings, which is our next styling option. Click on title settings. Um, if you don't want the title to show, just untoggle it and then that will go away. Otherwise, if you do want the title, you can then set color settings, font sizing, line height, letter spacing, text transformation, font family, and padding and the title minimum height. So I can change the color. I can change the font sizing. I can change the line height. I can change the letter spacing and I can change this. Okay. 
So that's quite simple. Um, I can change font weight and font families as well. Then we've got our rating settings. So at the moment it's not set, but I can show rating settings and I can show the color icon sizing and the rating margin. I don't want that on there. Then it's our content settings. So our content is obviously this paragraph information. So it's the real part of the testimonial. If I want, I can untoggle this so it doesn't show. Um, otherwise I can switch it on and I can change the color. Oh, that's really hard to read. And I can change font sizing, line height, letter spacing, text transformation, font family, font weight, and the minimum height of the content. Your next is your media settings. So if you have an image, which I highly recommend, if you're putting testimonials on your website, it's always good to have an image that goes with your testimonial. So this is your media settings. You can, if you want show or hide your media settings, you can change the sizing of your image. You can add a border, you can add a border radius, um, and you can change the media background or media border color and media padding and media margin. So if, for example, I wanted this to be a square image, I would just change this radius there. So let me update and show you what it's looking like at the moment. So there it is, and I can toggle through, and this is what my slider is looking like. Okay, so the next options are your name settings, show name, hide name. Okay, so they all have the same options. You can change the colors, you can change the fonts, font families, and the font weights. Again, you've got your occupation settings. If you don't want it, just hide it. Or if you want it, toggle it and change colors, fonts, etc. The next option is your container shadow. So if you would like your container to have a shadow, you'll toggle that and you can change the shadow color, um, the shadow blur, you can change the spread and the vertical offset and horizontal offset. Okay, I will untoggle that. And then you've got your wrapper padding. So let's link that and then I can show you what that is. So that's in and around the padding. Um, so outside there, how much padding you would like. Okay, so you can either unlink it or link it and change the padding there. Again, you have that option to change the padding depending on what device you're on. So desktop, tablet or mobile. And then you've got your individual settings. So testimonial one, testimonial two, testimonial three. And if you want, you can change these media types and the ratings. So if I did have the ratings here, so show rating, okay. And I came in here and actually, you know, this person only gave me three stars and the image, I don't want an image, I'd rather have an icon instead of her face, I can change that there. And this one, say so for the rating was five, and this one, the rating was, let's say, three, four. Okay, so let me update and refresh. You can see the rating is there, three, five stars, and four stars. So those are the individual settings. And then you have your advanced, so it's your HTML anchor. So if you want to link directly to this testimonial slider, you can add in a word or two, um, and then it basically creates a link. And what you'll do is just put a hash and then whatever you put in here. So let's say, for example, you say testimonials, and then you would link to hash testimonials. And there is a link here that details a bit more about anchor links. And then if you want to add a custom CSS class, you can add that in there and then further style your testimonial slider. Okay, so that is how you use the testimonials block from Cadence to add testimonials to your website. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have or need any help, then be sure to pop your comment in the comments below.